I believed in what we were doing, but I felt alone. And worse, it was my fault. I wondered if I was just wrong. An imposter, a a 22-year-old kid who had no idea how things actually worked. Now, years later, I understand that that is how things work when there's no sense of higher purpose. Facebook wasn't the first thing I built. I also built chat systems and games, study tools and music players, and I'm not alone. J.K. Rowling got rejected 12 times before she finally wrote and published Harry Potter. Even Beyonce had to make hundreds of songs to get Halo. The greatest successes come from having the freedom to fail. One of my favorite stories is when JFK went to go visit the NASA Space Center and he saw a janitor holding a broom and he asked him what he was doing and the janitor replied, Mr. President, I'm helping put a man on the moon. Purpose is that feeling that you are a part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed, and that you have something better ahead to work for. Purpose is what creates true happiness. I remember that night I launched Facebook from that little dorm in Kirkland House. I went to Noakes with my friend KX, and I remember telling him clearly that I was excited to help connect the Harvard community, but one day someone would connect the whole world. The thing is, it never even occurred to me that that someone might be us. We were just college kids. We didn't know anything about that. There were all these great big technology companies with all these resources, and I just assumed one of them would do it. But this idea was so clear to us that all people want to connect. So we just kept working on it day after day after day. And I know that a lot of you are going to have your own stories just like this. A change in the world that seems so clear that you are sure someone else is going to do it. But they're not. You will. But it's not enough to have that purpose yourself. You also have to create a sense of purpose for others. And I found that out the hard way. You see, my hope was never to build a company. I wanted to have an impact. And as all these people started joining us, I just assumed that that's what they wanted to do too, so I never took the time to explain what it was that I hoped we'd build. A couple years in, some big companies wanted to buy us. I didn't want to sell. I wanted to see if we could connect more people. And we were building the first version of Newsfeed at the time, and I thought, if we could just launch this, it could change how we all learn about the world. Nearly everyone else wanted to sell. Without a sense of higher purpose, this was their startup dream come true, and it tore our company apart. After one particularly tense argument, one of my close advisors told me if I didn't agree to sell the company right now, I would regret that decision for the rest of my life. Relationships were so frayed that within a year or so, every single person on our management team was gone. That was my hardest time leading Facebook. I believed in what we were doing, but I felt alone. And worse, it was my fault. I wondered if I was just wrong. An imposter, a a 22-year-old kid who had no idea how things actually worked. Now, years later, I understand that that is how things work when there's no sense of higher purpose. It's really good to be idealistic, but be prepared to be misunderstood. Anyone working on a big vision is going to get called crazy, even if you end up right. Anyone taking on a complex problem is going to get blamed for not fully understanding it, even though it's impossible to know everything up front. Anyone taking initiative will always get criticized for moving too fast because there's always someone who wants to slow you down. In our society, we often don't take on big things because we're so afraid of making mistakes that we ignore all the things wrong today if we do nothing. The reality is, anything we do today is going to have some issues in the future. But that can't stop us from getting started. So what are we waiting for? It is time for our generation-defining great works. 
Now, I know, maybe you're thinking, I don't know how to build a dam. I don't know how to get a million people involved in anything. Well, let me tell you a secret. No one does when they begin. Ideas don't come out fully formed. They only become clear as you work on them. You just have to get started. If I had to know everything about connecting people before I got started, I never would have built Facebook. I'm reminded of a prayer, Misha Berach, that I say whenever I face a big challenge, that I sing to my daughter, thinking of her future when I tuck her in at night. And it goes, May the source of strength who's blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. I hope you find the courage to make your life a blessing.